Hello everyone! I'm lost. And look at this monstrosity of a weapon. The Great Omen Killer Cleaver is the only great axe with innate bleed, so if we infuse it with arcane scaling, we get a really interesting bleed weapon. The rune level is 125, details on screen now. The base damage is 668, which is below what I usually prefer. I generally want at least 700 damage on a single weapon that is on the slow side, but with the added 108 bleed, the cleaver has some serious potential. Especially if you pair it with spinning slash or sword dance. See, even with the comparably low AR, a hit from the weapon art should inflict a good amount of damage, so you aren't entirely relying on the bleed here, but when the bleed comes in, <laughs> and your face is showered by the entrails of your enemies, you will be smiling. Now, remember to subscribe, or I will shank you in the throat. Let's get to the invasions, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Postscript Lost. Uh, we are doing more post commentary right now because, honestly, I absolutely love it. And the first fight today is a man who is using the butt slam ability. I have to say, I respect a man who fights with his ass. Now, at first it was only him, but it seems like his friend wants to join us. But I was like, you know what, let's just get this backstab first. I'm trying to get him with my sword dance, and the sword dance on this weapon can be absolutely devastating. I probably said that in the script before. I don't know, I wrote the script after I <laughs> recorded this. <laughs> but my god, he can do some real damage, and uh, I am not the only one with the bleed ability. As you can see, I was damn close to getting destroyed. Luckily, we have some insects that decided they wanted to fight on my side, and do- uh, are they using the same weapons oh my god I'm almost dead I don't even remember if I lose or win this at least I kill that guy so hey that is one point in my benefit and uh, he knocked me out of sword dance I think you'll see oh my god that is damage isn't it I don't think I even bled him whoa and I really wanted to kill him with the bomb. <laughs> I don't think I did. But, uh, oh, look at that. He's fat rolling as well. I didn't notice that. Was he always fat rolling? My, we'll, we'll see. I guess now it's pretty obvious that I will murder this man, considering the fact that he's using fat rolls. But, hey, we did actually end with no, no bomb. A little disappointed in myself, but okay. We just ended him the normal way. And speaking of the new patch, did I speak of the new patch? I don't remember. Look at this invasion. Just look at this. <laughs> oh my god. These poor people. I just came running in there like a wrecking ball. That's amazing. We get to invade so many different places now thanks to the new abilities that the patch brought us. And here's another example of that. How often do you get to invade somebody at 125 at Stormvale Castle? And this area is just beautiful for invasions. The area is so unique. The terrain is so exciting. And also, I find it a little bit weird that I invaded this guy while he was fighting another red, but yes, that's it. You can see his friend down there. His friend must have fallen down or something. Or he might just be a bad friend, you know. That happens too. And the other red comes in and absolutely destroys there. Look at that. I decided to try to chase off the the yellow. The, the, the brown, the bronze phantom? Oh, he's not really yellow anymore. I didn't get to kill him, but... There we are. I did get to destroy the host, and our friend absolutely destroyed Sir Alon. Hey, shout out to Dark Souls too. I really like this Ralon boss fight. And you did good too, Mr. Red. Thank you for the fight, sir. Another fight, and here's another example for why I love invasions. I just come in there, pow! Three hits, almost dead, sneaky, sneaky lost, and there we go, man down. I'm almost dying though, oh my god, look at my health, I have nothing left. The blood flame is so dangerous. They, I just need a little bit of breathing space though, and there we go, another man down, and another man down. 
I think the spinning slash is perhaps the better choice for this weapon, because you have the ability to take people around you. If you come at people with sword dance, you might miss. And honestly, I think this is the very first time that I have ever invaded in this area. I can't remember anything else. Look at this, it's inter interesting. I, uh, I have that tiny little bridge and... <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I should have used the weapon art there. Then again. Oh, very good. Very good damage. I think everybody should try this build out because I was having a blast with it. Now, granted, these guys have some projectiles, and since I don't have a lot of room to maneuver, I'm not in the greatest spot. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy falls down. Is there even a way to get back up there? Is he doomed to die a slow, painful death in the lava? I guess we'll never know because I died. RTF. Oh no, BTF. BTF, that's his name. Don't know what that means. Boys testicles forever, I suppose. That could be a thing. Oh, oh my god, I have absolutely no health there. Run, lost, run. Or roller, if that helps. And there's another one there. Oh god, there's three people. I don't remember if I won this one. I don't have a very good memory, do I? No. Run away. Let's drink up a little bit of that extra juice. I in the crimson flask, I have uh, the uh, the healing crimson whirl, and I also have infinite stamina, not stamina, poise for a little while. And come on, one more. Yes, he actually didn't jump out of the swing, so I managed to get him. And Garnet, Garnet decided to clap for me there. Makes me happy. I think that was a uh, that that wasn't a um. Sarcastic clap. He was generally impressed. So I choose to believe. I choose to believe that every single person loves me, and if they don't, well, then I don't consider them people. <laughs> that might get me in trouble. <laughs> Although, respect to Garnet there for actually using that spell. I think that's. One of a handful times I've seen that used. I've seen it been used once before that I can remember. That's about it. Now, it's just me and the other guy, but I should still treat this man with respect. Because, well, he can still do some damage. And he is... Oh, the bleed comes in, and boom, we send him flying, and what am I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to be st I wanted to be fancy, I wanted to do a parry, I remember now, but in my idiocy, I just die instead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And here we have a friendo, he tried to hide as something, but he couldn't. So instead, he tries to act like a distraction, I suppose, uh, so the other guy can get... The weapon art off. I have to just back oh, back uh, down or back backwards. Back backwards? That's an interesting way of saying it. I have to retreat. That's the correct wording here. Oh my god, I just immediately destroyed him with bleed. Thousands of... 1000 damage. This is why you really have to have 60 uh, vigor if you're going to survive fights with other players. That is incredibly important. I do have another couple of phantoms coming at me here though oh doesn't really matter again 60 vigor people i decided i wanted to end this very quickly because there were blues coming and they even though they're bad can be very dangerous and i will give you one guess to what's about to happen here <laughs> that's my one of my favorite places in the entire game that elevator i love that it's so dangerous and I believe FromSoft must have done that too. Speaking of elevators, this could be very dangerous for me. All elevators are dangerous, but you just know that people are waiting for me upside. I was ready. They... they tried their best. Oh, come on, murder that guy. Oh, that name... that guy is... is... Pussy Fart Maker. That's an interesting name. Oh god, I'm about to get destroyed by a guy called Pussy Fart Maker. I am not very happy about that. <laughs> run, lost, run away. 
Uh, can we get the uh, can we get the special juice off? Yes, come on. It's just remember, remember, kids. Only do steroids when it's useful. <laughs> we managed to get rid of his phantom though. And Dead Meril, is that the name there? Yes, Dead Meril is about to get destroyed, or so I hope. Again, I don't remember anything about these invasions. Although, I have to respect the man for actually using that weapon. You don't see it very often, and, uh, oh, I thought he was dead. I did. Mmm. We come in with the flying one, though, and we did... Oh, come on. We did bleed him, but, you know what? With a little bit of, uh... With a few right choices, we managed to survive that one as well. What is this? Is this the invasion where... No, I don't remember. Well, he's clearly outside. The man is outside waiting for us, and he has a friend. And, oh my god, uh, his friend has perhaps my most hated... Oh god, came from nowhere, like Randy Orton. His friend has perhaps the, my most hated weapon in the game. I shouldn't say hated. Uh, but one of the most dangerous weapons. I uh, it's I have a hard time fighting double white spears. I did manage to kill him though, and it even was with sword dance. So we were doing good, but I'm not doing good anymore. I'm constantly on the back pedal. Come on. Ah, we did get one hit in. I think even though I killed the white spear man with sword dance, I think we would be better off here with spinning slash, especially in an open field like this. Because Spinning Slash, at the very least, offers some protection from the people that comes from other sides. This man is also using the Golden Albert. I think that is one of my favorite weapons in the game. It has a really bad weapon art. I think it has Golden Vow. It does really no extra damage. It gets like, oh, congratulations, 16 extra damage or something stupid, right? But the weapon does so much base damage that... I honestly think it's uh, worth using. And look at that. I didn't even get him. You might call that hitbox porn. I just call that ultimate sadness. Because if we'd gotten him, I think this fight would be so much easier for me now. And I'm kind of expecting the man to resummon. I am. Come on. Oh, he can do so much damage with that uh, twirly jump. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was the invasion that unfortunately got disconnected. I, th I still think it was worth keeping though, because it was just such a cool and intense fight. Now, I have never invaded in this area ever! I feel like I'm gonna say this so many times in the future videos, but I just wanna say... Fuck yeah, man! I'm so happy. I should not say bad words like that, because... YouTube daddy is gonna spank me and I get less money for my ads. So keep your mouth closed, lost, and just kill the frogman with a little help from your beer, of course. I don't really understand why the man c insists on fighting me in an area with the, um, with a giant rune bear. Perhaps he's like, oh, I can, j I can just end him quickly. One weapon art and the man is dead. Oh, uh, but. He is really fighting uphill. Granted, the rune bear does hit me as well, so, you know, I might die to him too, but that didn't happen. Not this fight, and the man have been ended. Good bear. And here we fight, I think this is... What is this? That's Shah. I feel like this was the time I've invaded God himself. I don't remember the main guy. Was that God? Yeah, that, that's it, that's it. We are fighting God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have any doubt about who you need to worship, I guess you'll find out by the end of this fight. Now, I think it's really funny, though. Uh, that guy is on sentry duty or artillery duty, just standing over there with his explosion. I decided to take cover behind that, and I was like, okay, time to move, time to kill him. We managed to get him down. Now, did I see another red there? Yes, it was a red. It was either a red or a blue. And uh, here comes a rather bad spell. It's not really good. I decide to just drink some juice to try to uh, heal from it. Or not even heal, but to do that. Where did his friend go? Oh, the other, f the other finger died. That's unfortunate for him. 
Well, I guess it's just God versus two reds. And honestly, he's God. He should have this in the bag, man. Uh, but God is a little bit slow. I can't really blame him, though. God is an infinite amount of years. So you would probably get some... Uh, some creaky joints and stuff after that? I don't know. I'm not a priest. Oh. We're right into another invasion and... Uh, Another weapon that is really dangerous. We don't need any further explanation of this, do we? Is that the Vike Spears in the background? I don't think I fight him this time, but... Uh... Oh, no. No, we do. He just waited until his friend got in trouble. He couldn't handle the situation himself, so he had to get involved. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His friend is like, you know, I got my heal on. It's fine. I can do this alone. After he got help from him. Now... Double Naginatas, bleed is insane, look at that, half of my health in one blood loss, and even a little bit of uh, frost, I'm very cl oh. that's a little frustrating, honestly, this one I wish I could, uh, could fight again, I think I might have been able to kill him if it wasn't for the fact that his friend came in at the end there, but, you know, it, it's how it is, guys, it's how it is, now, I'm a little bit... What is what is her name? I don't know. It's a little hard for me to see. I'm recording this on my video editing software. Doesn't matter. Let's murder this person together with his friend. And this time I do have some backup thanks to the imps. Come on, imps. Destroy. What is that? He's using... He's using straight swords. Oh, the sword of night and flame, or fl flame and night? Swords of flaming knights. Perfect for the gay adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> I love gay people. Anyways, uh, mad... No, Maxipad. Oh, that's his name. Maxipad there got a little bit of a bleed on him, and unfortunately his friend decides to... Uh, Peace out, so it's just me and him. Now, we were having a really good fight when his friend was here, so I feel like this isn't going to go too well for our friend Maxipad. Luckily, if he starts to bleed, he's very absorbent. <laughs> for some reason, uh, I d just decide to switch over to the knife there just to style on him a little bit. I guess I'm a bit of a dick, aren't I? And the man dies. He deserves a bow, though. Good fight, sir. GG. Okay. Bull goat and... Uh, what's that? Oh, double dragon. That's kind of neat. I did a really smart thing here and I chose to drink the uh, the juice. Uh, before we got, uh, before we came in. Now, oh, here comes another red. Thank you, other red, for helping out there. Uh, I think that red has actually been in the fight when I returned. Oh, wait a minute. Let me bleed her is the actual host of this. I forgot about that. Yeah, so he had killed the red from before, and the red comes in and absolutely destroys them. Uh, GG, Mr. Red, GG. I was about to commentate on how the, the the Phantom of the Red actually helped him out a lot by um, pelting me with lightning. Uh, it is what it is, of course. They should do that if they want to murder me. They should take every opportunity to do so. Uh, but I'm still kind of proud that I overcame it. And so we bam him a few times. I do have my knife out here, so we might see a parry. No, no, we'll just see absolute slaughter. Okay, no parries for you. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Instead, we'll just... Um, go between these kitties? Now, I'm not a furry, right? But those people... Those... Oh, my... Sh 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 shut up, shut up! My phone is uh, making noises. Anyways, let's kill Shashin. I feel like that's the right way of saying that. I'm not entirely certain. But you can see that even without the bleed, we're doing an amazing amount of damage there. Ooh, are we gonna survive this? Are we gonna be the ones to win? Oh, well, that is indeed a draw.